Hi guys. Well, today I'm here to make a review about something that's different. It's actually not survival gear, it's not bushcraft gear, it's more something I use for photography and it's a Pro Apto Billy suit. And this one I have two from them. This one is the small that covers the shoulders and uh, a bit of the torso, the head. And the reason why I've got this one is because you may know I love animal photography and I absolutely did not purchase this one for uh, tactical reasons. It's really because I wanted to be able to conceal the shape of my head when I'm doing photography of animals and moving from a point A to a point B without uh, getting seen by the animal but with having the ability to have the head over um, the line of my vision so that I can observe the animals and these ghillie suits are very small very light here is the package it's not even compressed you could compress it more and they are made by hand in uh, Italy they are made out of jute twine, raffia and uh, nylon netting and the color I've ordered for this one is uh, as they call multi -lam. this is pretty much why I've been dressed in uh, um, this is arid camo and this is multi -cam, as you probably know, know and here it is this is very very small I will add um, close-ups at the end and it's very simple but very well thought I will show you how it looks like when it's put on um, you have attachment for your boonie hat and I don't have a boonie hat with me today I don't have a camo over my face I don't have my sleeve sleeves roll down or my forearms camoed up this is mainly for the purpose of the review I will go in some spots here if I find something suitable and actually the service is very friendly I contacted them and asked them well if you look at my Facebook pictures what do you think would be the best uh, camo for my region in uh, most seasons and they took the time to check it and advised me to get a multi land so perhaps you can see it has some resemblance to uh, the multi cam uh, colors and if I was in a real photography uh, situation and not seeing clients in the afternoon I would paint my face I would perhaps add a spindleflage on my face to cover um, the shine and avoid having... I, I haven't brought all that with me and my experience in, uh, in ghillie suits uh, comes from a very long time ago I've been passionate by the ability of a man to camo himself up uh, I have tested a lot of them, I have built a lot of them the easiest uh, I've used so far, which is way too big but very light, is uh, the Chameleon from Bushrag and the problem is that it's, it wasn't suitable for most of the environments I'm in and now this was one problem and the other it's I don't need a skirt that goes down to the knees because I may be uh, crawling, I may, you know, walk around and uh, I wanted something really fluffy. So this one, uh, I haven't used it much yet because because I have had so many things on uh, my shoulders right now, but I will use it because now it's spring and I will have more time to, uh, to do this. Now you have this netting it's pretty one uh, pretty much a one inch netting inside you have attachments I'm not sure uh, the camera will pick them up but you will see them in the close-ups you have attachments for the boonie you have a u-shaped um, square shaped setting cord that allows you to have 
the hood closer to your uh, face. You have Ranger bands all over it to add some vegetation. You have some Cobra stitches uh, over the shoulder uh, part of the camo and well oh, you have also two longer pieces of paracord down there so that you can attach it um, around the shoulders better you have plenty of attachment I must say it's uh, it's really well thought out and if you see this is really really small so uh, <laughs> be careful not to fall down here so it's really small you can really use it uh, for the top part you can also camo gear with it and for observation this is I think the best one I've got I have built several of these but this allows me to say it's well made now here to put it on nothing easier just put it on your face cinch it up if I had a boonie this would be even easier here is the set cord for the face so that you have a full vision around and yeah this is what it covered so if you have a backpack this is why I have two actually I have a bigger one that can be used as a hammock chair and I use it actually to uh, cover my backpack so I have full head shoulders and uh, back covered backpack covered and I will probably try to get the huge one that can be used as a hammock a very concealed hammock or as a, a tarp cover but here for most of my uses this is uh, way more than enough and uh, if I was doing some uh, bow hunting is forbidden in Switzerland but for a bow hunter you have not too many things coming in your way if you are observing you can really be behind a bush just having this part um, above the line of vision and of course you have to camo up your face your neck don't forget it the shine all over uh, your face but this is it so now I will take some time to make a coffee then I will just stay in that setup and go see if I can find anything uh, worth photographing but here I, ha I am in um, an environment where things are pretty dry and you have mostly uh, spruces, large trees, um, pine so you know pretty much those colors and yeah I will I will try to see in the, in the very slopey part here this is my what I call my man cave I have slept here many times but it's not suitable for that camera right here but perhaps I could find some very interesting place to test it out or I will just put it on something and take pictures of it so that you can see how it performs but I think if I don't camo up you can see where is my face yet still see how it would camo yourself if you had a full camo face now if you uncinch if I have to, try to find the if you uncinch this you will have a more camo face more um, shadow on your face but less peripheral vision it's something you may want to have if you are looking at something with your camera uh, or rifle for uh, those snipers of yours but you know now as I've said I'm not a profes professional um, ghillie suit user I use it for uh, photography 
so I don't take as much care for details like this, like my shiny bracelets. This is something I would camo up and cover up also for ticks and stuff like that. But not in here, I'm not in this setup right now. My only aim is to demonstrate that. So here it is. And you have good motion, good range of motion. Here you have those two straps you can use, either to attach it here or on some um, cases it's interesting to have something that lifts it, especially if you cover your uh, the back of your body with this. So this is pretty much it. I'm gonna make some close-ups and then gonna go find some places interesting to shoot the rest of that video. So guys, stay tuned. Okay, I'm not snaking on animals right now. I'm trying to recuperate my camera bag that fell down there. Okay. I'm almost there. And as I was running after my camera backpack, I sneaked up on some uh, chamois and I was up there so let's continue and try to get the thing back it's low so slippering here it's pretty hard to be discreet but I'm gonna try to sneak up if I still can on those animals so stay tuned Okay guys, so here it is. I'm on the edge of a cliff here and after almost losing my camera bag in the slope over uh, two cliffs actually, almost losing my battery as well, um, I'm gonna cut it out on that video. Um, I have decided to review this ghillie suit on my channel because my channel is about survival. Uh, this is not about bushcraft this time, but it could be. Um, but in survival, it can totally find its place because some of my viewers are survivalists and, and interested in, uh, in camo and uh, stuff like that. So as I am too, I decided to add it to this channel. So this is the Prohapto um, Cobra Hood. 
the smallest one they make. It's light, it's small, it's easy to pack. Uh, I use a C2 Summit netting pouch because it allows it to dry if I hold it on my bag. And you can order uh, several color, um, several different colors. You will have the link to their Facebook page and uh, I think it's always hard to review a ghillie suit on video because, uh, you know, video modifies the perspectives and you would be really amazed to see how this hood performs. I've tested it in three uh, setups quickly here. Um, in some places you will obviously see me at the first sight as I've said, I'm using this uh, hood and my ghillie suits mostly for uh, animal photography. Although today I was way too noisy and uh, probably scared all the chamois I've seen, uh, especially when losing my pack. Uh, I've heard and seen them running away and didn't have time to go stalk on them uh, anymore. So <laughs> this is... Um, this is just, um, yeah, as I've said, I think video doesn't render as m as well as in real life, but it gives you the idea. Uh, I have chosen something that works pretty much in all the environments I have here, um, trying to respect not all rules of, you know, uh, camouflaging yourself up in the wild, especially avoiding to be on a ridge line as I've done on that rock here. Uh, as I've, I, I did not respect actually um, being low profile and not in the sun, so remaining in the sunshade, but with the great quality of this uh, Cobra hood, you could also uh, conceal yourself from people as well. Uh, from animals it's just mostly a question of breaking the lines being being silenceful uh, not making any noises and being as still as possible or moving very very slowly and yeah as it's a review it I did not go through the whole uh, steps as I've said I have clients to see this afternoon and uh, I don't have time to um, wash my face from uh, face camo, face paint, but you know, camo with darker uh, colors, all your um, ridges, things that stick up from your face and with light colors, all the shades you have on your face. Now, with that said, and also your hands and neck, if you can see it, I mostly, most of the time use a shemag around my neck or um, those uh, kind of sniper nettings with camo that I use over my face uh, and put over the camera to take pictures. Um, I did come here on a light setup, so, well, not that light, but <laughs> lighter setup than uh, most of the time. And I have now, I really think it's a, it's a very nice addition it's a very nice piece of equipment, it's very nice, nicely done, nicely executed and it's uh, handmade, as I've said, in Italy. So, yeah, I think you should go check their website and you have the link over my head. You will have the direct link to the um, page I'm talking about in the comment box down below so that you can click over it. And well, that's pretty much it. So guys, Thanks a lot for watching and the sun is coming over the ridge so I'm gonna pack away and see you on the next time for a new adventure. So guys, thanks for watching and see you soon. Cheers. Hi guys. Well, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, don't hesitate to share, subscribe to my channel. And you can also find me on Facebook, just look for Pinewood Bushcraft or Pinewood CH uh, on there. You will have the link on uh, the, bot the comment box 
right under and uh, well as always thanks a lot for your support see you for next adventure on the next time bye bye